Construction on Amazon's second headquarters in Arlington, Virginia, will be put on hold, the company announced today, adding to the delays of a multi-year plan to relocate 25,000 employees to its new offices in Northern Virginia as it eliminates jobs nationwide. The tech juggernaut claimed to have hired over 8,000 staff members for the campus and has plans to formally open Arlington's Met Park, the first stage of construction, in June. But Penn Place, its larger and second phase, would be put on hold. We're always evaluating space plans to make sure they fit our business needs and to create a great experience for employees. And since Met Park will have space to accommodate more than 14,000 employees, we've decided to shift the groundbreaking of Penn Place out a bit. John Chetler, Amazon's real estate chief, said in a statement, After a decade of rapid expansion, Amazon's growth started to slow, and the company announced earlier this year that it was laying off 18,000 employees from its corporate workforce. Big tech companies, including Facebook, Google, and Microsoft, all announced major job cuts in the past several months as the pandemic boom the company's experience began to slow. Amazon spokeswoman Rachel Lighty said the construction pause was not related to job cuts in Northern Virginia. The news represents a significant setback for Amazon's previously aggressive commercial real estate plans in the nation. Amazon created anticipation for more than a year by holding a beauty contest among North American locations and inviting bids for the best financial incentives in exchange for what was anticipated to be a boom in construction and employment. Hundreds of cities from Anchorage to Dallas bid, and the company narrowed it down to a list of finalists. In the end, many of the cities felt the decision was a bait-and-switch as Amazon decided to split the investment between New York and Virginia, although Amazon eventually backed out of the former after public resistance to the plan. After previously giving departments more freedom to choose what worked best for them, Amazon recently announced that employees would need to work from the office at least three days per week. The decision was welcomed by city officials in Seattle, where Amazon is based, who hoped it would energize the area and increase foot traffic since the pandemic started. However, as its growth slowed and work from home opportunities increased, the company also indicated that it needed less office space. The company is reportedly letting a lease for one of its offices in downtown Seattle lapse and moving about 2,000 employees into existing offices, according to the Seattle Times. The tech industry's growth has abruptly slowed after a decade of rapid growth, bolstered by gains many of the companies experienced during the pandemic. But the boom times ended in the last year after a period of sinking stock prices and slowing revenue growth. Companies instituted hiring freezes and cut some perks before laying off tens of thousands of workers. We'll keep an eye on this story as I'm sure there will be further developments in the near future.